Hi, in this video we are going to see how we can use and set up this HS100 TP-Link smart plug. This is a plug that you plug it to the wall and it will connect to Wi-Fi and after that you can connect any device like heater, light, uh, uh, watering system, whatever you think of. You can connect it here and then through Wi-Fi or through uh, data through your phone, remotely you can turn it on and off. So one of the applications would be that, for example, I need this to put a heater in my basement room. So 10 minutes before I go to the room, I want to turn on the heater. So when I go down, it will be ready. So I don't want to go down. Remotely, I will turn the heater on. So you can also set this with the, with the light in the living room, so at night or sometimes that you get out, you can program this to turn on and off the light randomly as if you're there, let's say in a bedroom, so the light will go on and off between the selected time that you set, let's say from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. So the light will go on and off randomly and you're out of house, this way the person will think that uh, burglar or someone would think that there is someone at home. Also it, it has a lot of other features including the scheduling that you can set a certain device to be turned on and off certain time of day uh, using your mobile phone or any app that you have in your tablet device. It, this can work with Apple uh, and also it can work with Android. So this is the package. Once you receive the package it has been labeled as a smart Wi-Fi plaque control from anywhere so we have a quick starter guide how you can set this up we have a GNU public license this is the technical support telephone and contact that you need it if you need Nothing else is here, and that is a plug. This plug can handle up to 10 ampere in AC, meaning that if you're in North America, then 10 amp times 120 volts is 1200 watts. So a device, a heater, water, uh, or another device that you connect, it can be 1200 watt or 1.2 kilowatt. If you're somewhere else in Asia, in Europe, which is 220 or 240, so 220 times 10, just put one zero, it will be 2200 watt or 2.2 kilowatt. So the rating is very important. If you plug in a device that consume a lot of power, the this will not be able to handle it. So this plug is made for North America, for Europe, and other markets, for Hong Kong, Japan, and other places, or Australia. This will be different, but the functionality will be the same. The device comes with two year warranty and 24 seven uh, tool free technical support, and also you can have an email support. So this is very important. Using Android, so you can also use Apple. So just go to App Store and then type TP-Link so that is CASA for mobile so just type CASA so that is the tool and I'm installing it so it's being ins installed now so for this application I have connected an extension cord here so the next step is to connect this here and So when when it's blinking the amber it see it means factory reset. So that is the in the condition. So what we want is this one to be fully green. So the, so now let's launch the app. So if you don't want to register, so that's fine. I'm not gonna do the registration. So 
escape. So you see there's a advertising for Amazon Alexa. Not now. Let's add plus to add new device. Now now it says which item you have. So I will, we oh, we will select smart plug. So they have so many uh, other products. So the one that is rounded shape is our smart plug. So click next. Once you are at this stage, if amber and green is blinking, that's fine. Now go next, so it allows allow the location. Doesn't matter. I can put heater. So you can put some kind of icon. So I selected the heater icon. So now it says select the Wi-Fi password. I'm gonna enter my password here. So I've entered the password. Now press next. So we'll pay attention to the color here. So the color has changed, meaning the app transferred the password to this device so if the phone is not connected this will be able to connect so that solid green means it is plugged in and switched on so the smart plug is ready so to turn something on and off so i'm gonna connect a light a bulb here for you so you can see it here is my heater and i'm gonna connect it to that outlet close to it here I think it here now pay attention to the light so if this is connected you will see that the light will change once it's connected to Wi-Fi it should be solid green so now it, it is connected fully so let me plug the heater now the heater is on so it heated up So let's turn it off. So when I launch the app, it shows heater and it shows green. So I will touch this and see if... So the power is now off, as you can see here. And then now I'm turning it on. So the heater is on now. Now I've connected this table light. So now turning it on, as you can see this is off now, that's on, off. Perfect, so you can do this from anywhere in the world as long as you have internet connection or data on your phone. Once you plug it in, it goes to Wi-Fi and that is the status and also it shows on your app. So that's turning on and off. One thing that I forgot to mention is that your phone must be connected to Wi-Fi here to turn it to do the setup because it takes the Wi-Fi password that you enter here to the device. Now I have turned off my Wi-Fi and the device is here. The device is connected to Wi-Fi. So when I click here it says login required to control the device remotely. So I have to log in. And here I have to create an account. So enter your email and then enter a password and then touch create account. So now it asks me to verify the email. So I'm going to verify it by opening the email. So 
So you see TP Link activation required, and here click to finish registration. So as you can see here, it says activation succeeded. Congratulations. So after this, let's go to the app. Now, so it says remote control disabled. To enable this to be connected, to be controlled remotely, you must be in Wi-Fi and then go enable it. So I'm going back here enabling Wi-Fi now it got connected so you will see this so now this is here so now we have some options here so Wi-Fi control only so to change the remote location to be turned on and off touch here and then from here you see remote control just select this on now this can be controlled remotely so now it's on let me turn it off I will go turn off the Wi-Fi now I'm on data so the Wi-Fi is off could not connect to the device it doesn't show so it's off now and it's on so what we learned is that you have to do it two three times until it recognizes or maybe some process also make sure that also make sure that you touch here on the name of the device go to this icon and make sure that this is on and then if you are not on Wi-Fi then you can uh, turn it on and off as you can see it's working so it means I can do this from anywhere in the world now I have practically connected it in the other room now and so it works perfectly so once you plug it in give it at least like two minutes for the first time after that it will be working just fine so now let's see if we can set the schedule the schedule is here you can set the schedule and you say okay at what time something should start at this time you can see at 8 20 the device should be on and then repeat every monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday you don't need it and you just say save so that is a schedule so you can put multiple schedules for different purpose different time of the week so that is a schedule so I set the title as living room by the way when you go for the icon you can select from your gallery from your phone or you can take a picture with a camera so that's good save just set it as a living room the name does not change living room now shows here so for example you go at night to watch a movie or you are completely away so to make sure that burglar got scared and uh, somebody will think that you are home so you go to here at the away so set this let's say you're leaving at 8 30 for that day let's say tuesday you can go up to 23 which is 12 o'clock and 59 and then you can just say start once you do it from this time to this time it randomly repeats so this button is for initializing the app configuration process when you launch the app automatically it will come if not then you can press and hold it for five seconds and then this device will 
um, well, a third configuration. So we have two lights here, this light and this light. This one, green means that the Wi-Fi is connected, so this is connected to the Wi-Fi. And this area, if this is green, then the device that is connected is on, so it will get power. If this is turned off, the device has no power. But if this is blinking uh, amber, then it means it's in configuration mode and it's still in the process of connecting. So if this is solid amber, it is rebooting. If it is total red, then it means not connected. And here, when you click on this arrow, it will show you for today past seven days and last 30 days that it will show you how many hours and how many minutes and this will be runtime and then average daily and then for the past 30 days also it will give you that statistic.